What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against this Korea clan and as you can see it was a defeat. Um, unfortunately they did have a Town Hall 10 advantage on us. As you can see we have 6 to their 9. So that's really what it ended up coming down to because as you can see we only got a 1 star on 7 there and then only 2s on those where they were able to get 3 and 3 and three but as uh, like I just said we just missed one of the tens and on top of it uh, one of the nines gave us a lot of problems as well so not typical 2.0 fashion uh, leaving a nine on the board like that and not getting at least twos on all the tens um, so a few struggles in this war um, I think it was a little surprising uh, I, I know a lot was learned from it and we're gonna move on so uh with that being said there are definitely awesome awesome attacks in here you know these get these korea guys um were, were no joke that's for sure so uh some decent base designs in here and some excellent three stars by the guys so just gonna jump right in salty 10 on 10. Salty's gonna bring a max attack here. As you can see, he's got four earthquakes, a haste, or sorry, a poison, a rage, and a heal. He's gonna open up all these compartments, and really what that does is bing, bing, and boom. He opens up all three air defense. Both those sweepers are very, very vulnerable. And let's be honest, that queen is gonna jump into this now open compartment as well. So he opens up a huge chunk of this base. He's creating his funnel. He's dropped his two golems. There go the wall breakers. Walls open now. Golems are going to redirect. This one actually ends up staying put, but it doesn't really matter. I think once uh, those two defenses go down, it redirects as well. King goes in. It's a hound in the CC, so no big deal. Uh, Queen is just going to finish this cannon off and then start working on this lava hound. Uh, but the king is in there. He's doing his job. As soon as he gets past his dark elixir storage, that queen's going to be toast. And it's actually that whole compartment is open. I didn't realize from the earthquake as well. Uh, so he drops the heal now. He's going to rage the king as soon as he locks onto this queen. It's just taking forever. It's I don't know why the AI is doing that. She's clearly beating on the golem. There he goes. Rages it up. Defensive Queen is now dead, so he can really start the portion of his uh, air attack because this def uh, air defense is also going down. He's dropping in some loons on this backside where there's no air defenses and one Lava Hound in on this air defense. So, ton of loons just on the spread. He drops that second Lava Hound now and is just finishing his last few loons on the outer edges. He's getting huge value on all of these balloons because there wasn't really much attacking them right like the golems were doing a lot of the tanking and then he sends in the lava hounds on the only remaining air defense and by the time even one hound goes down you know there's loons on top of all this all these defenses and it just doesn't stand a chance so look at all these pups there's no defenses remaining other than this cannon at the 12 o'clock position it goes down and it's cleanup time so salty just ripped it apart with that max attack Whenever, guys, you can get three air defense, a couple sweepers, and the defensive queen and the CC for really only a couple golems, a couple spells, and your heroes, more or less, maybe maybe a few wizards, you're looking good. So just great job ripping that base apart, Salty. Uh, we'll drop one more down here. Uh, this is Andrew, always killing it for a 2.0. Brings... A uh, different style of max attack. He brings a max attack with uh, hogs, I guess. No, you can't even call it that. So it, it's more just a shattered goho with earthquake. Uh, drops drops the two golems very slowly. He's very patient on these golems. He drops one and then drops his wizards. Drops one and then drops his wizards. I like that. He's clearing out the buildings. Now that he's got this funnel created, he just needs to take out that dark elixir drill. Wizards locked on. Opens up the wall. The golems moving in. He drops that last golem now. Earthquake goes down and opens up a huge chunk of this base. CC troops come down, but they're immediately in poison. That wizard's going to go down fast. The loon's going to go down fast. Queen's moving in here anyways. It doesn't matter. They're locked onto the golems. So the king goes in. King is about to lock onto this defensive queen. As soon as this crossbow goes down, boom, he's locked right on. Rages it up. Queen goes down in three hits. See you later. His queen's doing work. It's time to start his hogs. 
Hogs are gonna be coming in from this, you know, 10, 11 o'clock position. He's gonna end up dropping a heel down here once they get close to this, these Teslas. He does have two heels for them, which is fantastic because he's already taken a huge piece of this base out with his kill squad. Still six hogs in the bag, so you think he reinforces down on this archer tower. His first heel goes down over that Tesla. Smart job. There's the bomb, too. I'm not 100% if this was a cleanup, but either way, he was going to heal there no matter what. Anyways, second heel is going to go down right over top of all of these structures. There it is. Hogs is continuing to work their way through. That queen's at full health with her ability still up. All those, all the bombs are triggered. It's pretty much GG from this point. Tesla and Mortar, last two defenses, and it's cleanup. Andrew just killed it, man. Good job. That's your three. All right. Next. New addition from Invicta moved up to 2.0. Logic Beats. I think he had a six-star war this, this war. So awesome job, buddy. Here he brings uh, a, a Queen Walk with a Shattered Goho. So he starts at the 12 o'clock position, drops a few healers. What I liked about this attack was this right here. Kind of a poor queen, um, queen defensive queen chamber. Just because you need four spaces. He's only got three over the wall. So that queen, all he drops is his king and does a king and queen swap. That was just great read on that. <clears throat> queen walks going to continue her way down here. He's about to send in his golems at, at this position. He really wants to just take out all these all these potential bomb locations because he's going to send in his hogs from 6 o'clock. And as you can see, there's not a lot of space in the remaining defenses for even spring traps, never mind double giant bombs. There are some spots that just don't make sense, but he re uh, Logic recognizes that. So he's just going to push in through this wall. Wall breaker's going in. Test wall breaker is good, so the rest go in. Boom, wall opens up. Golems are going to redirect. Remember, he doesn't have his king here. It doesn't matter. Lava Hound out of the CC. I think that's probably the best thing he could ask for in this situation. Draws all the skeletons on his golem. So that is another bonus of this raid. And he is about to send in 21 hogs from this 6 o'clock position with two heals in the bag for them. And he has already taken out 40% of this base. So nice work with that logic. Here they come. Spreading, you know, two, three on every defense. He's going to end up healing them all as they converge on themselves in the middle. And then he's got one more heal for this Tesla and crossbow in the back end. There's that first heal. Hogs are completely okay. Like I said, there's very few room for spring traps here. Definitely no logical spots for bombs. So he's looking good. Sends in the last few hogs on those two Teslas. Heal goes down. They're looking great. Teslas are down. Really, that crossbow is now down. Three or four more defenses to go, and it's clean up. This queen's still at full health with her ability. Still has a golem unbusted. Logic just ripped this, bar, uh, ripped this base to shreds. Good job, buddy. Does hit a bomb at the very end there, but it doesn't matter. It's GG. That's the three. All right, good job, Logic. Move a few more down here to number, what do I have, 23. Jan making the highlight reel with her 30 hogs, just shattered, goho, three heels. You know, you look at a base like this and just bring in your standard shattered goho. You're like, how do you make this work? Well, Jen just tears it up. Just just old school here, right? One hog in for the CC lure, drops the poison, takes care of the CC, ends up pulling it back a little bit, sends the golems in takes out the queen does the job goes in with 30 hogs because uh might have been a cleanup not uh, it doesn't look like there's a potential dgb spot other than between these crossbows um other than that it, it mostly looks like single giant bomb so we'll kind of see how this plays out here i haven't watched this attack to the full to the full end um but the jump goes down queen swap looking great everything's looking fantastic up to this point even throws a couple hogs in while the golems are tanking just to clear out those defenses quicker sends in a nice another little finger drop at the three o'clock position a few more hogs take down that cannon so they don't path kind of wonky heel goes down for them everything's looking fantastic up to this point they're just going to continue working their way in a counterclockwise motion up through these compartments Still 12 hogs in the bag that end up getting reinforced in from this side. Uh, another heal goes down. Keep in mind, three heals on this raid is a huge, huge deal. 
So good push still from the kill squad. That golem's in there doing tanking. Both crossbows on that kill squad still while these hogs are just doing work. So another heal goes down. Already a bomb is triggered in there. So it's only one bob remaining. Absolutely worked out perfectly. Just a few more, one more compartments worth of defenses to go. And there's got to be, I don't know, 16, 17 hogs in there at least. So that's no problem for them. Cleanup wizards go down on the outside. Jen just killed it. Fantastic. Archer Tower is the last defense. It's clean up. Hero still at full health, basically. There's a golem unbusted. Fantastic job. Times four of that. Three stars. Beautiful. All right, I think I got one more here for you guys. Uh, 28. Yeah, dirty. Dirty Italian. We've been talking on TeamSpeak a little bit lately, and he's been telling me how much he loves the stoned Lalo approach. So he's just showing it here like a boss, right? He's dropping all three golems on one mortar. I love it. Just takes down the mortar as he creates his funnel. King goes in very early because of this gold storage. He knows with the outer buildings, the king's just going to stand there on the gold storage, and with that jump, everything, it's just going to get yanked into the core. So great job. Uh, his queen is not even down yet. There she is, very late on the queen. He wanted that gold storage up as long as possible. Golems are in there just kind of beating their way and working their way slowly. Now that the queen's in there, these buildings are going to go down. He drops a couple hogs in and take out those defenses. Everything is just move, uh, move, moving beautifully into this core. Trip Tesla is about to go down. His king, he's got to rage it up, but it doesn't really matter. That queen, boom, there goes the other jump. He brings double jump here. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. That's a huge piece of this raid. So double jump lets the three golems in. King takes the defensive queen down. This queen standing in rage in the back, working on a wall, unfortunately. But once she works her way in here, all this stuff ends up getting taken down. So he can pretty much start with his air attack because that queen is now, and the golems too, are taking down that air defense. Last of the three air defense he was trying to get with his kill squad are down, so he, he drops in the Lama Hound. One Lava Hound and just spreads the loons to all the defenses on the outside with only one air defense remaining. Really doesn't stand a chance. Those two balloons are already on top of the air defense as the as the Lava Hound busts. Dirty just killed it, buddy. Good job, man. You have convinced me to open my eyes to this stone Lalo you keep speaking of. That's the three star. All right, so disappointing to say the least uh you know i can't speak for the the 2.0 guys myself but i i know how how heartbreaking some of these wars are where you just missed them uh you know you know things should have gone better that you guys can do better as a whole and uh i know that firsthand myself so a uh, tough war but again like you said some nice attacks in there um we're looking forward to some some more more matchups coming up. So got some exciting action coming, you guys, uh, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. And uh, until then, that about does it for your wisdom from Waza's. Trying to help you guys get that next three star. Until then, I'm out.